there's a car coming. Good morning, young man. Would you like some information, what we're trying to share? Yes, I have that. I have do you have this one? one? I have all the American. Okay, this one. Okay, this one right here is the Declaration of Independence, okay? I will take that. Um, it's word for word, or, you know, the Constitution is, is our higher law. It is the law of the land still, okay? Thank you. Um, have a good day. You, do you know that, how do you feel about abortion? Obviously that's what the we're trying to br bring awareness yes, to. Yes, so. I, it's I'm Amanda, by the way. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, Mace. Mace. Yes. Uh, Jonah. Jonah. Chilton. Chilton. How old are you? Um, 15. 15? This is a high school, is it, I, this is our first day yeah. here, we're not yes. from here. This is my daughter Bree, by the way. How are you? She's 16. I'm sure y'all's age, yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, uh, I agree that uh, I'm pro shouldn't. I'm pro they shouldn't <laughs> You're against it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's nasty. Yeah. We're um, the pro-life industry. You know, they've regulated abortion or child sacrifice, murder, but the world calls it abortion. They don't want to call it what God calls it. God, when you take an innocent life, it's murder. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So th they've regulated it. They have never called for the abolition of abortion in 40, what, five years? And we're trying to draw a line in the sand and bring the light to this darkness because they claim to be pro-life, the pro-life industry, yeah. and they've never called for an abol to ab abolish abortion. The Supreme Court made an opinion that it was, that it's not law. It's um, judicial supremacy is a fiction. So the reason why the, the fiction of abortion being legal in this country is the Supreme Court ruled their opinion. Courts cannot make law. The Constitution, that's the law of the land. Read the Constitution. Are y'all Christians? Yes. Okay. Jesus is Lord. He calls us to defend the... He calls us to rescue those taken away to death. Love your neighbor. All your neighbors. Just like this one right here. I don't know if you have this pamphlet about slavery. Uh, yeah, people had, are made... Okay, people are made in the image of God. All people. We're not animals. He made us in His image to reflect Him to the world. To bring the kingdom, you know. To give us a way of salvation, you know, if we repent and trust in Him, you know, He's Lord. Well, we're neglecting all these children. It's the biggest cause of death in America. It's over cancer, over after, over everything. Yeah. So, it, you know, do you, do you think abortion is legal? No, definitely not. It shouldn't. It should. Okay. It, 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 people say it's legal, okay? And these magistrates, like, um, any magistrate is someone who try, whose job is to uphold the law. They've given the God-given responsibility to uphold the law. When man's law goes against God's law, we are to ignore, ignore it. The Constitution is based on God's law. Anything against the Constitution, any law, God, uh, He created civil government to uphold His law. And like the Apostle said, whenever they uh, were his, the people were called to uh, disobey God's law. They said, we must obey God, not man. Well, also, so that's what we're here to try to bring, get you guys to think about because it's being indoctrinated in you that it, it is the law of the land. Well, here's the deal. Like I was saying earlier, the Supreme Court cannot make law. It's an opinion. The, they, every magistrate, every police officer out here was called to uphold the Constitution of the United States. Okay, the Constitution gives life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness to all people, all people. And so, uh, there has not been a law made. It, there has been an opinion from the Supreme Court that you could do abortions in each state. It, you know, it's up to a certain number of weeks. They, re you know, but the, anyways, the Supreme. The, when you said you were pro-life, I really want you to just think about it. They have never called to abolish and end abortion in 45 years. And we are abolitionists. We're trying to draw a line in this sand. There, you should, no matter if the, no matter what situation, it's never okay to murder a child. Yeah. Yeah. Um, think about that. Uh, uh, go to abolishmanabortion.com if you wanted to email somebody if they if you wanted to get in touch and find out more information. I'm not well versed at all, but uh, you know what I mean. I can't. I'm not really good at communicating, but. Uh,
So I have it up here. It's just hard to get it out. But it, it, thank you so much for coming by and talking to me and listening. And uh, the young people, you know, do not despise the youth, God says. Um, uh, I just exhort you to, to so you see all these people out here that don't have any arguments. They have no thought process. We're, we're calling you to seek the truth, you know. Jesus is the way, truth, and the life. And what he says is the truth. And so to test everything to the spirit of the truth, right? So whenever someone says something, test it to the truth, you know? You know? But I, I, uh, I pray for you guys, okay? If you want, you're welcome to hold a sign or anything, okay? Okay. I would turn it around though. Yeah, yeah. One has that baby in the before yeah. the There you go. It is so good. It's good, guys. Thank God. God bless you guys. What's your name? Austin? Osage. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Uh, well, I'm in Denver. Denver? But your name is, it seems like a foreign name or is your parents or your nationality? Yeah. Okay, you're, I love your accent. I'm Amanda. This is my daughter, Bree. And what's your name? Gabe. Gabe, nice to meet you. Amanda. How old are you guys? I'm 15. 15? Uh, it's really encouraging to see, see young men be men. I mean, 15 is a man. Adolescence is kind of like a man-made word. You know? Huh? What grade are you in? Yeah, this one right here is uh, so guys, the saddest one to me. Yeah. I appreciate you guys coming out and holding signs with us. You know, this life is short, you know. Eternity is forever. We're trying to, you know, seek the truth. So, I don't know your background or anything. Um, oh, no, it's murder. If they don't stop, it's going to turn into a war. It's murder. Um, yeah, it really is. It's going to turn into a war if they don't stop. Yeah. Abolitionist this, society this is right. Elm. This is right. Yeah. Abolitionist society of Little Elm, you know, check us out. So, uh, that's on uh, Facebook. Alright, I love it. Check it out. Seek the truth. Yeah. Seek the truth. Yeah. Always test. Always test. Always test all your thoughts. The Bible says that the world is a world evil. Will actually hate men that speak up for truth and justice. That defend the innocent. That hold back the slaughter. You know? Thing. Like I've had like five skinheads pull up, jump out of the car and beat me up. And then they're like, someone just told me not to hate you. And I'm like, yeah, that was God. I would listen if I was you. <laughs> and he goes, let's get out of here. Hop in the car and left. It was awesome, right? Yeah. And I was standing in front of an abortion clinic and I talked people out of killing their babies. Satan hates that. You know. And a girl here, okay, she's still here. She's on a pro side. Pro, uh, choice side, right? She opposes. She said her sister has decided to keep her baby. After all. And she thanked us. And she still has a pro-choice side. She thanked, thanked us. And tried to ask me not to post it live. Which I have the video and I'm not posting it live. I don't want to like expose her sister. Like, I'm not bad with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know, the Bible says every word that comes out of our mouths are going to be held accountable. Right. Every thought, every deed, every word. Yeah. So, oh my God. <laughs> seek Him with all your heart and you'll find Him. You know, I'm, you'll seek Him your whole life because He's infinite. 
We'll never stop learning. You know, you, you said you are Christians. I, I know. Right, right, right. You know, some of these signs, they're pretty vulgar that they're holding. You know. You can. Would you guys like some pamphlets that you might not have? Hey, would you guys like some pamphlets you might not have gotten yesterday? Okay, have you seen the slavery one? These are ones I brought today. They're my favorite. I don't, or one of my favorites. You, you want to give one to your friend too? Yeah. You guys Christians? Are you guys Christians too? Yeah. You're a, um, a shining light in that school. You have a big responsibility. Yeah. There. Well, I'm Amanda. This is my daughter Bree. I don't know oh, if I'm Maggie. I'm Jordan. I don't think so. Okay. No. Amanda Lucas and Bree. Okay. My daughter. This is my daughter. Uh, she's homeschooled and I'm oh, from I'm Birmingham. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, that one's beautiful. Human. They were less than human and now they're doing that in 1973. And it just shows you the facts of it. It'll help you to be educated on the on history. It's yeah, a, but I don't know. Like, yeah. can, I, can I ask you a question? Of course. Okay, so like, if you had, if you had a 12 year old daughter, right? What? So, do you have any kids? Yes, ma'am, I do. Okay. This, this is my daughter, Bree. Okay. Right here. So, if you had like, if she was 12 years old, right? What? If, what if she was like 12 years old? Yes, ma'am. And she was raised, mm -hmm. would you make her risk her life giving birth to a baby? Because if Would I make young, her? I can't make another human being do anything right, unless I were to force would you want her to I would not her want her to murder her child. I would want her to love her baby. Right, but she could die giving birth to it. And then it's a it's a physical reminder every day of the emotional trauma that she went through getting raped, being pregnant. So, do, are you a Christian? Yes, ma'am. Okay, when the Lord says that children are a gift from the Lord, do you believe that? Yes, ma'am. Do you believe that He is the giver and taker of life? Yeah. Yes. So but if someone were to ever, God forbid, rape my daughter, God forbid, the crime of that man that he did to my daughter, the wrongdoing, it's the same. That would be my daughter becoming that man and doing that to her own child. Right, but the Bible also says the only sin is rejection of Jesus Christ. It doesn't say the only sin is rejection. The un un unforgivable sin, you mean? Or? Yes, ma'am. Okay, it doesn't say, say that one more time. That they said, um, my mom works at a church and she tells me that. You know, the, the people are the church, you know that, right? The people yes. are God, the, the church, the body of Christ. That's yeah. the church. When, okay, but she works at a, a like a building where they people come together. And, yes. So she said that in the Bible it says that the. Only What's your name, real quick? I'm sorry. My name's Emma. Emma, Amanda. Okay. Okay. She said that the only unforgivable sin is rejection of Jesus. So is she saying you can sin all you want, and the only thing that's unforgivable that it's okay to sin so that grace may abound? Because Paul said, well, I mean, everyone sins in their life. Yes, yeah, so, yes, they do. Yeah. yeah. So whenever Jesus said to repent, do you do you know that there's a godly repentance that leads to life? And there's a worldly repentance that leads to death. There's a godly grief that re leads to life and a girl worldly grief that re leads to death. Do you know a godly repentance that leads to life turns from their sin and trusts in Jesus Christ as Lord. So if Jesus Christ 
Hey, Bree. Hey, Bree. Hey, come here. Come here. If Jesus Christ, she was making this scenario, she's concerned about someone getting raped, a young girl getting raped, and then risking their life to have a baby, and then for the baby to um, be rem a reminder of that horrible event. And I was reminding her that children are a gift from the Lord. So what I'm saying is if Jesus Christ, if this happened to, my, to her, if Jesus is Lord, and she has repented and put her faith in Jesus as Lord, that she, re godly repentance means she would turn from her own sinful desires, her own sinful ways, what the world calls right and wrong, and trust in the Lord's ways, and love her, it is my daughter. Why are you bringing your daughter into this? You're lying up because I made it. Because I made it. Uh, I, I'm trying to finish my conversation, okay. then I'll talk to you in a second. Okay. I'll be also, glad to. I, this is, I agree. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not forcing her to be out so here. Brainwashed. It's okay. Though. I'm not finished. Can you let me finish? I'll let you finish. I'll okay. Let you finish. Um, so, so I, I couldn't force her to make any decisions. She could do. She could go behind my back. I, I would not give her my blessing, and I would remind her what the Lord says, and I would support her in love to love this baby as well. But I would have no part of if she were to want to murder that child, and I would trust that the child is a gift from the Lord. And um, I do know people that have chosen to have their babies, and it has healed them. I, I don't know anyone who, who didn't cho choose a. Have yeah, I know. I would personally never have an abortion, but I don't feel like that just because that's what I think. I don't think other people should be taken away the right because it's like some people don't have the so money. people, and then the thing is, if they're if but, they're in the place, it's already it's like a really hard decision to to make. It's not just like they're like, oh, I want to kill my baby. You know why it's a hard decision to make? Do you know why? Yeah, because it's hard. No, do you know why? So certain decisions aren't hard to make. You know. Yeah. Uh, well, the Lord, He gives us a conscience of right, of right and wrong, okay? It's hard because we are convicted, and that's a gift to be convicted, to know this is wrong, what we are about to do. And you have to make up every excuse in the book. And if you, if you think about it, you know, whenever we communicate, you know, it kind of brings to light your, the, your thought process, right? Um, write down some of these thought processes this, that you're telling me, because it, I don't know if y'all, you're having to go in school right now in a second? Yeah. But write them down and test them to God's Word, you know? Okay. Um, the, the, it sounds like uh, there's a lot we have to talk about, but before you go, the repentance that leads to life and uh, obedience to Jesus and, and loving Him and freedom from from sin, you know, uh, at freedom not just from the condemnation that you receive, yeah. but from the... the uh, the power of sin it has no power over you. You don't. You don't have to live that way. He gives you His Spirit. He gives you a new heart. And if that were to happen to you, you know, in, yeah. instead of it being so troubling, you would say, "I've received a gift out of this." And I don't understand, Lord, but you'll trust Him. Um, yeah, I understand. Yeah. I just, I just don't like. What about people who aren't Christian? Like, not mm -hmm. everyone has the same beliefs. I know they don't have the beliefs, but that there is a tr truth that does exist. Do you believe yeah. that? Yes, so just because they said the the earth wasn't flat, they the truth is it's round. There is a truth, yeah. so we should seek it. Well, if you believe that Jesus is the truth, what He says is so. You want to share that with others, okay? Think about it. Good to talk to you. Do you hear the good news? Good news. Yeah, the good news. Like. We are all sinners, right? Decrepit. We're like evil and wicked, right? Yes, sir. But hey, thanks, baby. Jesus Christ came to die. I just thought, you, right? since I was talking about you, and you might want to be over here with me. That's all. But have everlasting life. But you know, even Satan believes in. You guys okay? Oh yeah. Okay. That was wild. Which one? Just there. was this wild. Um, yeah, That's I was. All. I didn't notice anything, but that girl I was talking to. And then I saw people making a lot of more people distractors. Okay. Yeah. Here you go, ma'am. Would you like to take up information? Okay. See how he, um, 
without asking you anything, he just put something upon you like I was forcing you out here. Thank you for speaking up. Yeah. Much sweet gift. Mm. You gonna be my date for, for lunch? Grand Lux. <laughs> I'll take you to, we have to. We haven't done it in what, two years? And I'll actually eat the salad there. <laughs> Do we just leave when the cars are done coming in or something? No, we'll, we'll talk to our brothers and sisters a little bit. I'm hoping that officer will take this lesser magistrate booklet, which they've never. Lesser magistrates the got, the, got their God given duty Lord, to uphold, uphold higher law. The, what you're studying right now, what you're studying for civics right now, that it's at the bottom of that box. There's one I brought at the bottom. I didn't. There's some in my trunk as well. I brought the, they didn't have these yesterday if y'all wanted this, my information. I'm not from here. Yeah, would y'all like any? We are it's, from here. Huh? We are from here. Yeah, I'm not from here. I, I, they didn't have this yesterday and I didn't know if y'all wanted to at least see what I had. I think we're okay. I'm okay. Thank you though. I okay. appreciate it. Where are you from? Uh, Birmingham. Alabama? You just came down for this? I came down for other reasons as well, yeah. I go back and forth constantly from Texas to Birmingham. Can I see what Liberty High School? Can I see what y'all sound say? We all have a choice, yeah. I'm a mother too. I, yeah. Motherhood's a gift, huh? Hey, sir. Hey, man, can I give it to you? Can, it's new information. Where is the place for it? Hmm? Where is the place for it to talk about it? Well, actually, every parent has a right invite, to invite paper. these people to your church yes. and preach there. We are the church. Yeah, yeah. Imagine that. Uh, he said, "Go out and under, under all the world." That yeah. People with signs, with your daughter needs to have a or wear a hijab. Are standing here. I right, say that one more time. She said, imagine if there was a if there was a sign that said your daughter needs to wear a hijab. How would you feel about that right outside her school? Would that be a, like cool? Well, I would you? want her to be able to. Think she's gonna. She, I would want her to be able to uh, know. Well, she knows God's truth, and she knows where to find it. She's been rescued, like we all have, by the Lord. If we if you've been rescued by Him, He rescues us. But I mean, I'm not gonna. Uh, that we have to be able to talk about things together. Yeah. Well, we don't need this. We talk about it. Well, and we, frankly, well, we do because need this because it isn't the talk. It's not going on. The communication and talking about it isn't going on. It's, it's, we're trying to be shut down when we actually came out here from talking about it. Well, you know, like I like this. Seriously, this is just history. This is American history, and um, but nobody wants to just like um, if I have truth and and um and I'm concerned or. Uh, something's going on. I'm concerned about a, another person. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would want to share that with someone. And if you, if you feel that you have the truth, you would want to share it with with me. Um, I just don't understand why some people won't discourse. Right, right. I think because, probably because like you're filming me right now. That's probably part of the reason why I'm uninterested in having like a really in-depth. Which dialogue. somebody put this on me 
because I was with my daughter. I don't even have one of these. But Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I'd be much more likely to talk to you if you weren't filming me and possibly editing it and putting it on the internet. Uh -huh. You know, that, uh -huh. that that's not an approach. That I'll give feels you. feels real safe. Yeah. What's your name? My name is, I'm not going to tell you. Okay, name. I'm, my name's Amanda. It's nice uh, to meet you. Nice the, to meet the reason you. is we just, you know, we've had some, some like, attacks on people they find out people's names and say horrible things about them on their facebook page so we we just i think people have to feel safe the only to discourse thing. to have a discourse yeah. and so when have, have you seen that yes i have yeah. i've look, seen all the videos but i haven't seen that the only thing i saw that might have been kind of i have a friend who's in a lawsuit with these people because they were because they have the, who's, who's these people with the you? abolitionist society of little Island. oh really yeah. they've harassed her uh -huh. what have they done I'm not gonna make any claims on your on your video okay. camera. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Right, so, have a great day. Thank right. you. Yeah. So that's. So this okay. isn't a safe. This isn't a safe way to have a discourse. We'll so this isn't safe. We're to, gonna go not, back not to work. On camera. You're on your but, own. Well, if, no. But if you ha are above reproach, you know, no one can say anything about you. And if they do, people uh, lie. They do. Yeah. That's true. Well, abortion and, and is murder, and that's the truth. Hey, did you give away that? Did you to ask him if he would yeah. take it? He said he doesn't take anyone's side. So he just here to keep. It's not side. taking a side. It's just. I know. Yeah. So you won't take. Mm. Here, let me try to do it. Mm. Good. Now this one is awesome. The interactions are Yeah, incredible. lots of interactions. I like at Wakeland. Oh. My my daughter's school. Oh no. That happened out there? Well, I probably know the girls that were kissing. In fact I do know the girls that were kissing. Although I wasn't out there with them. Hey, pull out your two They're friends with my daughter. Oh no. <coughs> they probably happened a lot oh, more sorry. in college than they have the well no, Wakeland pretty much got it. Um, are we just driving a car up and then loading it up? Do, yeah. How do you push stop? Oh. I can't believe I forgot my GoPro. Had it all just push the top. Oh, yeah. 